In this video, we are going to continue with practical applications. You will find this on page 73 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus in this video on recurring decimals to fractions. So, express the, the recurring decimal as a series. So, I first write it out. That dot means the 8 is repeating. So, it's 0 0.8 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.08, and so I form the sequence. Then, express the recurring decimal 0 0.8 as a fraction in its lowest terms, okay? So, basically, I'm just going to determine, is it an AP or a GP? Now it's a GP because T2 divided T1 is equal to T3 divided T2 and that's 0, 0,1. So I use the S to infinity formula. So it's A over 1 minus R. So A is 0, 0,8, 1 minus R. And I get simplify that. I multiply 10 on top and then I get 8 over 9. And then write as a mix fraction. I do exactly the same. Now in this case it's just starting at 4,2 and now the recurring part. So it's 0 0.068 and then make that all zeros and then repeat 68. All zeros repeat 68. So it's 4,2 plus s to infinity. So first work out s to in infinity. So t2 I get my value of, of r I substitute it in and I get 34 over 495, okay? So don't forget that it's 34 over 4 plus that 4,2, that, that beginning part, and I then get this mixed fraction. And I can test it. Press it on your calculator, say 133 divide 495 equals plus 4 and see if you get that recurring decimal. Okay. I'm only going to give you two. You can stop the video and you can first try to do this too. And the two I'm going to give you is number 1C and 2B. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 1C. Okay, no. I start first with the sequence. This is 1C. So it's 0 0.234, and I make my three dots. So it's actually meaning 0 0.234, and then I repeat 234, and I repeat 234. And it's going on. So if I'm going to write this, I, I must now first find, okay, let's, let's first write it as a sequence. So as a sequence, it's 0, 0,234 and then put zeros in this place. So it's 0 0.000234. 0 0.000000. So it's 6 and then 234. Now, if I want to find the guy, now the value of A is 0 0.234. The value of R. It's, this is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3. So if I say term 2, divide term 1, so it's 0 0.000234, divide 0 0.234. And if I press that on my calculator, and I just want to test, I get... 0 0.001 okay now I'm going to find s to infinity make it rather blue and that's a over 1 minus r so in the place of a I put 0 0.234 and then 1 minus 0 0.001 and if I press that on my calculator Let's move this. 
So it's 0 0.234 divide bracket 1 minus 0 0.001 close the bracket equals um, and then you can just say shift ABC. I, I prefer and then directly your calculator will give it to you. 26 over 111. Okay, so get your decimal and then press shift or second function and then that ABC key. Okay, and that will then give you your your uh, vulgar fraction okay and then we do the next one number 2b Okay, and if I write this one now, now the 5.5, .5, that is very important, it's not recurring. So it's almost like I can say 5.5 .5 plus, and now starts my sequence. So it puts zeros, and then 6, 2, okay, plus, put just zeros in that place, place. so it's 1, to 3, And so I can go on. Okay. Now, first find this is to infinity. Okay. If I look at this, the value of A is 0 0.062. Okay, let's repeat. The value of A is 0 0.062. And then the value of R is this is term one, this is term two, because my sequence start there, the repeating one. Okay, so it will be 0 0.00062 divide 0 0.062, and my value of R, in this case, let's just quickly see where is my, is 0 0.01, 0 0.01, okay. I just want to quickly test it. Uh, so it's the value, it's 0 0.00062 divided 0 .0, 0 0.01. Okay, so my S to infinity, okay, let's keep it first read. Zero point zero six two. And if I press that on the calculator, I get 0 0.062 divide 1 minus 0 0.01. And remember shift ABC. So if I shift ABC, I get my vulgar. Okay. And then don't, don't forget that I'm going to add still that 5.5. So, therefore, 5.5 or 5.5 5 plus 31, I think just press it like this on your calculator. So, say, you can say 31 ABC 495 plus 5.5 equals, it's going to give you a decimal, and then get a shift ABC, and if I do that, and now it's giving me an improper, and if I shift ABC again, then it will give me that mix of 5 and 5, 5, 7 over 9, 9, 0. And that will be your mix. So express as the lowest terms. So that will be your mixed fraction.